الله نحمده ونستعين به ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فهو المهتد وما يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم اجعلنا منهم يا أرحم الراحمين آمين Today's khutbah is about a topic that every single human being is interested in. And every single human being is looking forward to, which is happiness, a sa'ada. If you ask anyone, whatever they do, whatever they target to achieve, they have this target to achieve it because they want to feel happy at the end. If someone knows, if any of us knows that money does not bring happiness, nobody will look for money. If any of us will, will understand that a big house or a fast car will not truly give you happiness, we will not even think about it. But because most of people link the, 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 the material stuff with happiness as a result, that's why they strive and work very hard to achieve it. What is happiness? Happiness or a sa'ada is a feeling that is from inside. It's something that you cannot buy or you cannot gift or you cannot find as a treasure digged under a sand or under a tree somewhere. It is a feeling. That's what happiness is. So if we want to understand how to achieve happiness, the best way to do it is to know what Allah Azza wa Jal wants from us, and how Allah defined happiness. And we will find so many ayat and ahadith. I just picked few for you in the few minutes, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Walau anna ahla al-qura amanu wattaqaw Walau anna ahla al-qura amanu wattaqaw lafatahna alayhim barakatin min al-samai wal-ard if the people of towns, the people of villages, means us, people who live in dunya, if they have acquired iman, strong faith, and taqwa, the taqwa is the reflection of faith in your actions, and in your thoughts, and in your deeds. If you acquire true iman and true taqwa, Allah promised you and me, that will open all the benefits, all the khair, all the barakah, the blessings, from where? Both from heavens, from the samawat, and from earth. Which means you will be a winner, a real happy person, not only on earth, but also in the hereafter. So the first condition for happiness is through iman and taqwa. Let's see the other ayah that talks about those who do not Acquire taqwa and iman, what will happen to them? وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكًا وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمًا Those who will stay away or leave or deny ذِكْرُ اللَّهِ And ذِكْرُ اللَّهِ here is a symbol of iman and taqwa, the connection with Allah. If you don't this connection. Refuse this connection with Allah, what will happen? You, may Allah forbid, you will be enjoying ma'ishatan danka, a then, the worst type of life. Not only here, and yawm al qiyamah, what will happen? You will be uh, resurrected blind. And blind is not just the sight. Blind, you couldn't have enjoyed anything in life or after death. So we have seen two ayahs reflecting. If you follow taqwa and iman, you will have the real happiness in dunya and akhirah. And if you leave taqwa and iman and dhikr Allah, you will, you will have a miserable life here and hereafter. What about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Of course, a lot of great ahadith such as, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من أصبح منكم آمنا في سربه معافا في جسده عنده قوت يومه فكأنما حيزت له الدنيا وفي رواية 
بحذافيرها فكأن محيزت له الدنيا بحذافيرها The meaning in very few words that if you wake up in the morning and you have an, uh, you are safe in your family and you are safe in your body you're not having that pain that may Allah forbid that like people who have cancer they live between one pain and another pain and you have what is enough to sustain you for that day you just have food in the refrigerator for a couple of meals you have the best of dunya already you have the best of dunya you you and the, the richest person on earth you enjoy the best of dunya already because we want safety we want health and we want to fill up our stomach with some food these are the essence the essentials of life if you have them you have to be happy that's why i brought this hadith because we're talking about happiness do not worry about tomorrow risk of tomorrow Allah did not ask you about prayers of tomorrow. Allah asked you to pray, to pray today. So you ask him for risk today. You can plan for tomorrow, no problem. We always have to plan for our akhirah as well. But don't worry. Be happy. You have amen, you have risk. Another hadith. قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ الدُّنْيَا مَتَاعَ وَخَيْرُ مَتَاعِ الدُّنْيَا الْمَرْأَةُ الصَّالِحَةِ the whole dunya is a mata'ah. It is a tool that we use to, to continue living, to sustain our livinghood. And the best of though that tool, the best means of living in dunya that you can enjoy is a righteous wife. Now for those who are married, thank Allah if you have a righteous wife. And if your wife is not that righteous, you have to be a righteous husband and help her becoming her, the righteous wife. And those who are not married yet, please look for a righteous wife. And righteous wife have taqwa, have deen, have a good terbiyah. It's a long story, easy to search and learn from those who have been before. Another one last hadith for today. قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ أَرْبَعٌ مِنَ السَّعَادَةِ الْمَرْأَةُ الصَّالِحَةِ وَالْمَسْكَنُ الْوَاسِعِ وَالْجَارُ الصَّالِحِ وَالْمَرْكَبُ الْهَنِي Four of uh, uh, the, the best happy, happy uh, tools of, of dunya, means of dunya, Akudat Rasulullah. Again, the, the, the right wife. You know, your wife, by after you, you get married, she becomes your second half. You you both are two faces of the same coin, as they say. If she, if you are not happy with your wife, you are not a happy man. If you are very rich and you go home and your wife, you are always quarrel with your wife, you are not a happy person. You know, we cannot lie. This is true. So if you have a good wife, you have a great life. And, what, and we all want to enjoy having a comfortable home. Now, sometimes in some countries, one or two bedrooms are, are, are considered big. In some other countries, they're considered small. It doesn't matter. But if you have a comfortable house, a home, a, a, a shelter, be happy. That's part of happiness, part of the best ni'mah that Allah provided you with, according to Muhammad Wasallam. And, and if you have a good neighbor, especially, you know, when neighbors interact with each other. I know someone who found his dream house, but he, before he, 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 got, he took it, he got his house, he purchased it, he asked about the neighbors, neighbors, he found one bad neighbor, so he quit. Because a bad neighbor could give you a lot of hard time. And the last one was al Markab al Hani. Nowadays, imagine if you're driving a car that breaks on you every now and then that consumes too much gas, that you always spend time to be mechanics, that that's will kill some of your happiness. So subhanAllah, in our deen, the keys of happiness are there. And yet we are looking for happiness in other ways. It is in Quran and Sunnah. Happiness in your Iman and Taqwa, as we said, your righteous wife, your comfortable home, your, your, your safety, safety and security, your food you have in the fridge, your good neighbor and your good car, whatever it is. These are means of happiness, but as we all started, you generate happiness because you're content and happy from Allah Azza wa Jal. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ فَيَفَوُّ ذَلْ الْمُسْتَغْفِرِينَ فَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله
قال الشاعر ولست أرى السعادة جمع مال ولكن التقي هو السعيد A beautiful poet says that I do not see the happiness comes from collecting money it is rather the real happiness is those who are close to Allah through taqwa and if you look at all the researches done day and night, in the, especially in the capitalism uh, uh, countries, in the, in the modern societies like we live in here, Alhamdulillah, they found after so many years of research something that we Muslims agree with when it comes to happiness. happiness. The real happiness is not in acquiring, it is rather in giving. So the contentment in what Allah has provided you and in and from what Allah provided you, continue giving and sharing your wealth, your time, your knowledge with the community around you, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, this, is, this brings the real happiness. And that's why we see a lot of celebrities, a lot of singers, a lot of movie actors, a lot of millionaires, at a certain time in their life, they donate and donate and donate. And they, 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 they leave their work and they go to Africa and, and give the poor. Is it because of taqwa? From the best of, uh, of I know, it's not the taqwa and the connection with their church or masjid. It's rather they are seeking for real happiness. So today's topic was the sa'adah, the real happiness. And we will only find it in qala Allah wa qala Rasulullah, in contentment, in ata, in a good wife, a good home, a good food. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فيا فوز المستغفرين تستغفروه اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا اللهم ارزقنا السعادة سعادة الدنيا والآخرة اللهم ارزقنا العطاء اللهم ارزقنا القدرة على العطاء اللهم اجعلنا متحابين فيك واحشرنا مع نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في عليين آمين آمين وأنت يا أخي أقم الصلاة